Yo, what's up, guys? This is Akil Cope, and welcome back to the Borderman Transformation. And I got to for you guys today ways to keep learning. Literally, a lot of us we get old and we're like, you know what? I don't have as much time on my hands. I cannot stop to study. I'm gonna go. I got pay, I got bills to pay. I got things to do. So right now, I made it easy for you ways you can keep learning and still do what you got to do. Number one on the list we got is to keep a book on you when traveling. For me, when I'm in New York City and I'm traveling on a train, I keep a book on me. So instead of me scrolling on Instagram, instead of me scrolling on Facebook or what's not, I'm reading a book. That way, when I'm traveling, the little free time I have between transportation, I'm on a bus, I'm on an Uber, I'm on a train, I'm whatever the case is, when I have enough time, like, you know, I have time on my hands, I'm reading, getting as much knowledge as possible. When we get older, sometimes we tend to stop learning. So what you want to do is to keep learning. Keep a book on you, a book that's self-improvement, finances, something that's going to add value to you as a person. Number two we have on the list, instead of playing music while cleaning, play a podcast. When you wake up in the morning, you have to clean your house in the nighttime. Instead of playing music and dancing, play a po- put a podcast on that you're gaining knowledge while you're cleaning. Because remember, cleaning can be a sense of meditation. Meditation plus learn, the music, learn something at the same time. That means you're putting your focus on it, says so it retains more. So that's a great way to learn something new. Put on a podcast while you're cleaning. Very amazing. Instead of playing music that's, you know, going to put destructive stuff into your mind, put on something positive that was going to teach you something new and just open a different perspective in your head. Number three, talk to more people who have things to talk about, not just people who want to find something to talk about. When I say talk to people who have more things to talk about, I'm talking about people who know what they're talking about. People in a specific field, in the area, and they study what they, they study their craft. They study what they know. So talk to more people who are out there trying to gain new knowledge. So that way you're faster to get a knowledge from that person because they are literally seeking the knowledge. So now they have it. They retain it. So now it's easier for them to give it to you. So talk to more people who are out here seeking self-improvement, finances, whatever the case is, speak to those people. Number four, invest in a course and actually try to finish it. A lot of times we invest in a course and we don't actually finish it. We get halfway like, oh, this is too much work. Uh, this, this is not going to the point. Finish it. At least finish it. Even if it does not give you what you seek and, and the intention, you're still going to gain something from that course. And I can pretty sure something is going to add. It's, any little thing can add to you. It's better to have a little bit than have nothing at all. So finish that course. If you get it from something, just finish it and just give yourself that. Okay, I accomplish it. Um, last but not least, I need you guys to repeat each of these steps for the next six months and watch how your life improve. Watch how your life change tremendously in so many ways. If you consistently gain knowledge and as well, not just this is the problem. A lot of times we gain knowledge or we study we get, and we study and we gain knowledge. But I want you to study and then take action. Study and take action. I bet you if you study these things for the next six months and then you take action for the next six months, your life is going to change. Welcome to the Borderman Transformation. It's Akil Copeland, and we out. Peace.